Uh, what am I doing with my life, dude? I'm in a dress in a blonde wig <laughs> right here in front of fucking camera, dude. What am I doing? Welcome back to Fire's Confessions. I'm your co-host, Rosie. And I'm your host, the banana. <laughs> <laughs> banana Will. And welcome to the Halloween special. Can we add some effects that... Dude, I can't take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, guys. That's why we're dressed up. If you guys didn't know, I'm Rosé. I'm banana. banana. We hope you guys are having a good Halloween. You know, trick or treats, yeah. all that good stuff. Dress up. We yeah. want to hear some ghost stories, some haunted stories. Yeah, let us know. If you celebrate Halloween, how are you cel celebrating Halloween? You know, what are you dressed up as? Yeah. You know, see if your costume beats Emma's, you know? This is yeah, hard I to beat right now. <laughs> this is hard to beat. And it's hard to put myself out here. Oh my god, but bro. Oh my if god. you guys are dressed as Blackpink or any of them, yeah. send us some photos too. Yeah, send us some photos. Yeah. yeah. And this is episode 38. Yeah, oh wow, almost 40, 38, dude. 38, almost 40. Almost 40, bro. And by now, I think you guys know the drill. We're going to start it off with a game. And the first game is Guess the Celebrity. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Halloween edition. Okay. We're just going to guess celebrities. Levi is going to zoom it out a little bit. So it's going to start really, really zoomed in. Mm. And whoever gets it first gets the point. Okay. And then we'll head over to the podcast after that. Yep. Halloween ish theme. Mm -hmm. we'll see where it goes. All right. You Let's ready? get started. I'm ready, bro. All right, this I stay is ready, Guess bro. the Celebrity Halloween Edition. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. My hair is <laughs> in my face. What the fuck is oh, that, dude? Oh. What do you mean? Oh, I think. Uh, no. I can't guess it yet. Steve Aoki? No, this is someone dressed up as Billie Eilish. That's the <gasps> costume. Oh. And this is. Oh, it is Billie Eilish. Wait, no. It's Billie Eilish dressed up as... Oh, it's Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner dressed up as Billie Eilish. Is it? I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to take a guess. Yeah. Kylie Jenner. So it's Emery. But did I... I get one point for the correct costume? Yeah, we'll give that. We'll give that. Are you serious? So one oh, point for the level, one fuck. point for the costume. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Well, oh, sorry. Okay, so one point for correct costume, two points for guessing the celebrity. Plus guessing the celebrity. Okay, So okay. one point each. Next. Oh, uh, uh, this is uh, a yeah. Wendy's girl. That's the costume. It is the Wendy's girl. Who is the person cosplaying? I don't know yet, Mike. Uh, I'm thinking it's a guy. We got to zoom out a little bit. Who the fuck? Lisa! That's Lisa in Wendy's costume. Damn. That point uh, is that Wendy's though? So it's actually not Wendy's. It's um, Squid Game. Oh. oh. So I didn't get the costume oh, correct. Yeah. So it's just one. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, uh, fuck, what's that? Uh, the, the wizard the shit. The, the wizard, wizard shit. Wizard of Oz. The wizard shit. Wizard of Oz. Wizard Girl. of Oz. What's the character name? Uh, Emily. Uh, Bethany. Fuck, what's Marilyn. Dorothy! Yes! That's correct, Dorothy. correct. Fuck, Dorothy. it is right, Dorothy. Let me, let, me see the, let me see that celeb right, real quick. Harry Styles. Do I get one point? Yeah, shit. you get one point. Come okay, on. okay. Okay. Damn. Uh, Shaggy from Scooby Doo and Scooby Doo, and that person is looks like a kid. That looks like a lady. That looks like. Hold on, man. That's a woman. Is that Amy Schumer? Uh, is that Amy Schumer? Incorrect. As Fuck. <laughs> oh. That is. I'll give you a hint. He is very well known for his role in The Office. Oh, I didn't watch The Office. Fuck. He was British also featured you... on the in the Hangovers series. Oh, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, Ken Jong. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Wait, one point each for that. Yeah. Okay. One point each. Okay. So four to. God four damn it. Two. Okay. That's Jason. Uh That is Jason. How the fuck would I know this celebrity though? That is a big motherfucker though. He looks big. Idris Elba is Jason. Usain Bolt. That's a basketball player. LeBron James. Kyrie Irving. Oh, fuck. Kevin Durant. Correct. Oh, oh yes. God. Come on. <laughs> Woo! I should have been throwing out. Give it to me, out. bro. Give it God, to me. Damn. What is that? 5-2? No, 4-2. Oh, no. 6-2. 6-2. Shit. 
Okay. Rosé got this, man. Rosé got this. Oh, Come next. on. Yeah. What costume is this, bro? Those, those hands look familiar, though. See, he's got the Halloween little, like, band around his thing. So he's going to a Halloween party. And I'm feeling it's a he. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's it a girl. Am I offending people? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got... Now we're going to need a zoom out photo. Ronaldo. The correct. <laughs> That's Ronaldo? Ronaldo in a... um. And uh, who the fuck, who the fuck is that? I don't know, is this Dracula? Dracula? No, um... Dracula. That's a vampire, that's Dracula. So people actually don't know what he's trying to cosplay as, and that was the funny part of... <laughs> it's a horrible <laughs> costume, bro. <laughs> horrible, horrible yeah, for a costume. guy that's worth, like, what? But give me that one point, bro. What is that, Take three, it, six? Oh. Yo, this doesn't look like Ronaldo, though. How many, how many more celebrities do we have? I think we've got one more left. God damn. Come on now. You already won this. Let me finish this up. Okay. Oh, I'm back. Batman, Batman, that's uh, Travis Scott is Batman. <laughs> Cockroach oh, Batman. Man also on the internet, oh, dude. Yes. God. <laughs> yes. God. <laughs> oh, shit. You want this one? Yo, he got... Travis yeah, Scott yeah, got yeah, this hella viral, bully, dude. Yeah, yeah. I think he took down the post, right? Yeah. Did he? <laughs> yeah, dude. He looked ridiculous. The, con <laughs> the concept was great, yeah. but it came out as... People say Cockroach Man, and I see that. Yeah, I see I that see way that. more. There's a camera angle. His head looks way too small. <laughs> his proportions are just off, bro. And look at his arms. It's so He looks so <laughs> lanky, dude. Uh, yeah. Ew. Props to Travis Scott, though. Yeah. Anyways, that's the game. That's the game. You already know who won. Rosé. But anyways, let's get into the podcast. Yeah. This podcast is, as you can see, Halloween themed. So we're going to start off the podcast with a little question. But I can't take you seriously when you're when you're I adjusting your hair and your tits. Dude. I can't. And your boobs. It's falling off. <laughs> okay. I'm good. <laughs> oh. We're going to start it off some questions about Halloween that Levi's got. Okay. And the first question. So how do you celebrate Halloween? I never really celebrated Halloween. Did you ever celebrate Halloween? Not in the traditional sense. I've personally never seen you no dressed up like this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> no trick or treat or anything, but... I did go to a Halloween like party once. Uh, did you dress up? I was dressed up as like a drug dealer, but like it was just a shirt. Tell me the costume. Or oh, just a shirt? Just a Cuban shirt, yeah. And sort you're like, back I'm a drug back. dealer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah. Drug, I'm a drug dealer. I didn't put effort, yeah. but as I get older, yeah. I think it's important to put effort. You add to the vibes. If somebody invites you to a Halloween party, you got to pull up with something. Yeah, that's true. You know, something. Damn, I haven't celebrated Halloween in a long, long, long time. So. You mean tell me you celebrated last time? When I was younger? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to dress up as a kid and go trick-or-treating. For real? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. They have a... Oh, yeah, yeah, damn. yeah. It's pretty... Like, it's, it is it is a thing in um, Australia, New Zealand. But I, I think because I had younger siblings, it got to an age where, like, quickly, where I had, had to take them to go trick-or-treating and then to knock on doors. Yeah. And then I wasn't cel celebrating it as much. So you didn't dress up with them? I used to. I used to. I used to pull up in what? Like... Tell me some cool costumes, bro. Man, I went the broke route, bro. I had like, I remember I had um, origami. <laughs> do you know or uh, do you know those claws that you can make out of, out, oh, out of origami? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to just put that on and just put on a mask, and it was like Edward Scissorhands, I think, something nah, like that. That was an like excuse for you to. Edward Scissorhands. Cool cool yeah, 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 it was, it was, <laughs> yeah, bro. I thought that shit was yeah. sick until I saw other kids <laughs> with fully decked out costumes like that, like ninjas and shit like Fuck. that. Fuck yeah, yeah. yeah but cool. I used to pull up in Spider Man suit. Just when I was younger, you know, it felt so nice to get like candy. Just, you know. What was the best candies? What was the candies you wish for and the ones you don't? I like my Kit Kats. I like my Kit Kats. I hated the, um, oh, what's that? What's that chocolate with the... Some licorice shit. Dark chocolate. Oh, I hated licorice. But, um, what's that? What's that pink chocolate? It's like, it's like chocolate, but it has pink stuff in it. Oh, Turkish Delight? Oh, I hated Turkish bro, Delights, Turkish bro. Delights are fire, dude. Nah, I hated that shit, dude. Oh, God. Yeah, Yo, there's some bougie-ass people that are giving Turkey, Turkish Delight, though. Yeah, yeah, That yeah. shit is expensive. I know about that. But you can't give kids that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes adults just want to give out, like, things that they like. Mm. And they're like, 
giving out like whiskey candy or like uh, Turkish lads and shit. You're like, yo, it's kids, man. Give them yeah. Kit Kat, give them Mars, Snickers, you know? Yeah, yeah. A Milky Way. Yeah. But it's always nice though. It's always nice like coming back home with just like a bag full of candy. The best part was that fleeting 30 seconds where you bring the candy back, you check out how many candies you have and then... 30 seconds later, get it confiscated by your parents. And they're like, no, nah, it's too much candy. <laughs> <laughs> your parents can't confiscate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't, really as you grew older, older, you didn't have like a strategic strategy to yeah, hide yeah, yeah. it and shit. Put some in my pockets for sure. But other, other than that, like... You were an uncontrollable candy kid. There was a few times though, where... It's, it's like a trick or treat, you would get some... You would get more than candy. You would get like, I don't know, some other random shit that they would just put in your... Like money? <laughs> money? I wish. I just can't remember. It was such a long time ago, but it was just, I remember that there were other shit. It was like. What's the one, I'm trying to gauge, like what else do you put inside? Not any fucked up shit, but just, just like, you know, like. Toys? Yeah, something like that. Fruit. Hot wheels? Yeah, Yo, yeah, like that. Halloween here as a kid, that's fire, dude. Yeah. I never had that. Yeah. You get Hot Wheels and candy just random shit, that's like yeah. a birthday for me it was nice man it was nice just like celebrating it with you know kids from your neighborhood you know you cut you, you you band together and then you go you go and knock on houses together you know so my picture is like stranger things y'all ride the bicycle together in the in the oh, neighborhood yeah i remember is that the bicycles your, man is that your vibe you were the yeah, bicycles? walking around it was just nice because people are committed bro people are committed to the um families they're pretty committed to putting their um like decorating the house in like a halloween fashion did you nah nah nah, nah fuck that yeah it's more yeah. like christmas decorations and yeah shit. but it was nice to even seeing my family participate in it you know like before halloween go yeah. get some stock up on some candy just in case you know to even just get some kids to knock on your door like halloween trick-or-treat you know yeah. throw some candies and yeah. like, i'm not gonna lie bro yeah there was a period where um i think i was home alone yeah, I was home alone during Halloween. I'm not gonna lie. As I grew older, I just couldn't be fucked. And then when there were kids knocking on my door, I just wouldn't answer. <laughs> Damn. You know, you fucked up your parents' reputation. Dude. I forgot. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be like, yo, this Yeah. Nah, yeah, don't yeah. knock on their door yeah, like yeah. next year and shit like that. Because my mom at the time was still was still make the effort of like, oh, even though we forgot to stock up on candy, yeah. we'll still put some chips in there or something. You know, just to just to put something. You know? Yeah, add a little bit of savory to yeah, it. Yeah, it was quite nice. What's your dream bucket, dude? Dream bucket? Dream trick-or-treat bucket. You go around, you collect your candies, you come back, and then you look at all the stuff. Like, put it all on, you lay it down, you pour the pumpkin, and you see it, you're like, damn, this is the perfect bucket. It has Bro, Obviously, on. like, you know, if I pour it, as I'm pouring it, I'll be looking for fucking nuggets of gold, bro. Some shit. <laughs> okay, really? <laughs> edible stuff. Edible huh? stuff. Like. Edible shit? I don't know, man. Candy. I, I didn't have much of a sweet tooth. So, like, I always... Honestly, I always look forward to like the the savory shit, like the nutty stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah the nutty the shit, caramel stuff. Yeah, it'll be cool. Like a bougie one is like, okay, you got your Snickers, mm. you got your Kit Kats, mm. but why don't you throw in like an apple pie from McDonald's? You know what I'm saying? The whole apple pie from McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> throw it in there, you know? <laughs> Maybe like some McFlurry Oreo with dry ice packaged. Eh? Yeah, that's when you know you're in like. I'm thinking of Beverly Hills that has that one. I'm thinking Beverly Hills the has the nuggets kids. of gold, bro. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's true. But Halloween, it's a special time. Different countries celebrate it differently. Trick-or-treating when you're a kid. Partying when you're an adult. What else? Outfits, dude. Yeah. Outfits. It looks good, you know? Mm. It's like everybody sort of live out their fantasy when they're an adult. It's an excuse to dress up. Because on regular day, you dress up, people going to be like, oh, shit, like, Mm. Are you cosplayer and shit? Mm. You know, there's mm. gonna be some looks, but in Halloween, I gotta say, some people look good in their costumes. Are you talking about a certain gender? I mean, men and women. Okay, you know? okay, okay. If they want to thirst trap it up, yeah, yeah, Halloween yeah. is the perfect way to do it. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. Guys will go as like lumberjacks and shit, shirtless firemen, or like basically shirtless anything. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. girls have their classic like Harley Quinns, the yeah. bad girl. The ivy, poison ivy. Mm. Wait, let me know? interrupt you, bro. What do you think is the most popular Halloween costume? The most dressed? Sexy angel. Really? Sexy angel. A lot of girls go as sexy I'm angel. thinking it's got to be like... It's got to be like Harley Quinn or some shit. 
It has to be. See, Harley Quinn is a niche of superhero, mm. and she only came out like that movie of Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Mm. Then they kind of got that costume, like, mm. oh, you know, that kind of looks cool. But the classic, classic, is always sexy angel. I thought it was oh, like, like sexy nurse. Yeah, nurse. Occupations. Policeman. What do you think it is, Levi? Honestly, I think the the fairies is fairies? pretty common thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It depends on region to region too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think for guys, like the minimal effort, like police, SWAT, that mm. type of costume is the most popular. For girls, maybe fairy, Barbie. Mm. Oh, Barbie is Barbie. a popular, yeah. popular one now. Yeah. What about the kids? Oh, dude, I'll tell you, bro. When I was a kid, bro, I, I, I remember oh, I remember this one time I fucking, I went to China and I bought all of these Naruto headbands. I stocked up and I handed it out to my boys. And then, and then we Come all were like, on, you guys went Naruto. to yeah, 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 Village, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Did you yeah. go as Naruto? I can't remember. I just had the headband, but fuck it. Well, it could have been Naruto. You really went minimal. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> you put yeah, effort yeah. to just the headband, just yeah. like plain t-shirts. <laughs> but I think now you can dress as celebrities too. Rosé. I'm um, Rosé, yeah. It would have been nice if you dressed up as Bruno Mars too. Actually. Yeah. It's a lot of effort though. <laughs> yeah, that's so much <laughs> You have to perm your hair and stuff. Yo, actually, search up the photo. Search up a photo of Rose now. I actually went pretty accurate with this, and it's the first photo. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Picture perfect, dude. I have to look for, like the shoulderless. Shaking. Give him the. Give the pose. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm overheating in this fucking. Oh, I feel good in a dress, dude. I think more guys oh. should dress up as in dresses. Dude, I'm a fucking overheating, dude. It's so hot. <laughs> Holy shit. It's because you're wearing a sweater underneath the costume. I'm committed, bro. Out of all the different places, where do you think does the best Halloween dresses, costumes? Tokyo. Asian countries. In a weird way, Asian countries. Yeah, I'm going to say like Japan because they are like the OGs of cosplay. Yeah. That's true. And the amount of characters they kind of fucking cos cosplay as, dress up as, you know, anime culture, bro. You can go wild with that, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Red hairs, you know? Mm. Orange hairs, fucking anything, bro. The characters, they all got weird colored hairs, bro. And to bring anime to, uh, to mm. live. And I think, I don't know, but I, I've seen like TikToks of, um, TikToks of, because <laughs> fucking itchy. TikToks of like Tokyo celebrating Halloween. Yeah. And like everyone is like, the benchmark is quite high. Like, it's not, like, cheap costumes or anything like that. They have, like, they make their costumes. Mm. All their, they got, like, proper wigs, proper makeup and stuff. Yeah. You've been in Tokyo, dude. Have you seen that? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I was actually in Tokyo last year when I was living there. And I got to experience the Halloween culture yeah. for the yeah. first time. How was it? Insane. Insane? Insane. Oh, damn, describe it. Describe it. Um, so, I'd say Shibuya is usually where it was most well known for yeah but what what did you dress up as me what did i dress up as is it something embarrassing for <laughs> i think it was like a um i had an onsen type of outfit on uh, and i was wearing like a very traditional japanese style uh, so the lazy one <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you yeah. basically wore the traditional and the crazy onsen. part is all my friends the uh, the females are all dressed up as fairies as well. Oh. And Barbies, things like that. That's why I mentioned. I think oh, it's very yeah, common. Maybe you're right with the fairies and angels. Uh, he said fairies and angels. I said angels. angels. Yeah. 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 With the wings. Mm. That's hot though. Yeah. Yeah. I fucks with the angels and the wings. Dude. Yeah. That's Especially cool. the white. Give me give me that fairy stick, dude. Mm. And be like, okay. Okay, mm. I see you. Mm. That's two kinds of people in Halloween. Yeah. You either dress to look good. You're either a thirst trap or you're the funny guy. You know what I'm saying? True. There's no in between. It's right? Facts, facts. And when they dress good, they dress good. <clears throat> like, yeah. I can't. I can't raise nobody with this. Uh, I think you can. You think I can? I think you can. I pull up to girl with the rosé's costume on. It doesn't have to be a girl. <laughs> yeah, fair you enough. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe <laughs> it'll be a challenge for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Do you think people will see you? They'll be like, "Damn, that's rosé." Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you put the if you search up rosé Blackpink, and go to like first three pictures. It's um, unmistakably rosé. This is basically the same dress, dude. I'm sure, here's like Chanel and shit, but <laughs> the page and I'm probably copied them. <laughs> Damn, I should have put up in Bruno Mars costume. Or Lisa. Or Lisa. Jenny. 
Jisoo. I'll be shocked if you pulled up in Jenny's like Calvin Klein shoot costume. Yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there's a limit <laughs> you know what i'm saying even this digital footprint right now yeah i'm fucked for a little bit yeah but if you pull up in jenny's uh calvin klein shoe yeah yeah damn. that's it man that's done that's it <laughs> that's your image forever yeah yeah i kind of want to also talk about since halloween i kind of want to talk about something about ghost related you know mm. haunted house because mm. i remember we had this conversation outside the pod mm. we're talking about each of us had like sort of we know of like a haunted spot and a fun thing not not to me at least but for some people they love to explore like haunted places uh. i want to ask you guys this question do you guys believe in ghosts before we start this conversation i want to know your your are you a believer or or are you not a believer in ghosts nah not a believer in ghosts you're not I'm so not a believer in strict ghosts. yeah levi i i couldn't say i believe in it Mm. Okay, now the following question: mm. Would you guys go into a haunted house that everyone says is like filled of ghosts and it, it it will ruin your life? It's made people blind before. It's turn them go no. turn them like psycho and shit. No, dude. <laughs> but you don't believe in ghosts, you know? I, I believe in I believe in supernatural shit. But I <laughs> you just backtrack, dude. I don't know. Somehow I get what you're saying. Because mm. this is just to make the statement is, you don't believe in ghosts, but it's fine to have precautionary like yeah, action. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want to get fucked up. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. I think a lot of people stand there. I don't believe in it, but I, I take precaution with some supernatural shit. Yeah. You know, some some person curses yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you try to uncurse yourself. Yeah, you try yeah, to yeah. look for ways to un, unspellalize yeah. yourself. You know. Yeah. If if. If a witch was to come out to me and just do do some horny ones and me and me all me, yeah, 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 I'm, 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 I'm be scared, bro. You know? yeah. yeah, you have to take the action of cleansing yourself. Yeah, I'm going to the temple straight away, bro. You know? I'm doing a quick Google search, how to cleanse myself. Yeah, tarot card read, cleanse myself, a little bit of sage, I'm good. If that's the process, but if it was like a long-winded process, a six-month commitment to something, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna, you're like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and the piano just falls on yeah. you. You're like, fuck that witch, dude. Oh, uh, that would make me a believer. Yeah. If coincidentally some girl like puts a spell on me and shit, mm. I'm like, nah, it's bullshit. But just the wildest accident, like, mm. I don't know, a spear falls right in front of me. That's when I'm taking like drastic action. Yeah. I'm dedicating my life to like <laughs> yeah. finding this woman and apologizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, yo, beg her. I, yeah. I'll do whatever. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to venture in haunted ha places? I've been to haunted houses, mm. um, like the theme park ones. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, have I you like guys those. been? I like those. I went so much that I got desensitized to it. Did you ever have like you know the schools? You know when you have like a fun fair in school and you make a classroom like a haunted house? No, I never had that. Did you? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, cool. So like some of the kids would be like. You have roles and you get like fun fair. It's like fundraising events for school. Yeah, yeah. And then like, uh, but the kids organize the rooms with your oh. like home teacher, like the class teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you plan for what kind of games or activities you want. Yeah. So most of the time, like haunted houses is like the most popular one. Mm -hmm. But some kids be wild. Dude. You know how kids be? They want to scare you, but they get physical. Dude. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Haunted houses is the best place for dates too it is it is bro <laughs> it is 100%. unless you're scared yeah unless you're scared yeah i gotta go in first and then bring her back yeah. kind of thing you know yeah. i gotta know where the scares are yeah because it would just minus your aura points if you just you know i actually have one never, yeah oh, okay. um when i went to high school yeah this is back um there was like a rumor going around mm. um around our year mm. basically that there was this sketchy spot mm. that was at the bottom part of the assembly hall at our school okay and basically what happened was me and a group of friends we actually checked it out mm. normally the bottom part of the theater is used to store like chairs mm. things like that right yeah but when we checked there's like a little um trap door yeah right yeah, and you climb down the trap door. No. We actually did. Is it to trap people in or? 
I don't know. It was just like a lever going down. Yeah, there's like a ladder. It's it's not that it's not super deep. Yeah, but it was only like maybe five meters. But you'd go well, that's, down. That's that's a decent amount of like. And I remember walking in. Oh. You can be underneath the um stage. Yeah. Oh. And the most sketchy part was there was like pentagrams. <gasps> Oh shit! I'm out, dude. Yeah. Wait, what are pentagrams? The satanic like uh, star nah, like fuck things. Off. Yeah. Dude. Fuck off, really. So it it actually wasn't that scary, but like it was just when we saw that. Yeah. It's just you know when you kind of yeah you don't really believe it, but it creeps in your neck. Yeah. Yeah, it's like know? an eerie feeling. Yeah. Shivers. Damn. You were not scared. Because you're with friends, right? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. This is uh, in Australia. Yeah. yeah. White like, friends. Back in Canberra, yeah. There you go, man. Only white people do this. Thing. <laughs> what do you I mean, will bro? never. Do. Do you I will mean? never. You know. I don't get people that do that. I don't get people that watch horror films. Yeah. I feel they're all looking for some thrill. I don't know what thrill. Yeah. But some people just like to feel a shock and scare. Yeah. It's like yeah. M- an addiction to horror films. Yeah. You know, there are horror buffs that want that adrenaline. Yeah, that's true. My girlfriend loves horror films, so I've seen I've seen a decent amount of horror films. Are you desensitized? Yeah, I'm pretty desensitized. Apparently, there's one just new horror film that just came out, mm. and it's like uh, it's earning more money than The Joker too, because mm. they oh. both came out together. Oh wow! But apparently, that was like gory. Oh gory! Yeah, yeah. There's mm. like some fucked up scenes that people. Some people walked out of. Really? A lot of people walked out of the cinema. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I can never. Yeah. But did you guys ever had a spiritual haunted experience? Closest thing. Doesn't even have to be in a haunted house, but you just felt something just wake up beside you. Or beside me? Or anything that like you know when you're sleeping and somebody says, Yo, that was fucked up. No, no, I've never had it. Have you? I don't think so. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Apparently, like when I was sleeping one time, I was having a nap at home. Mm. And then my hand started to like raise fully, no. just like that, and it just stayed there for a while. And then I just like dropped it. That's what my sister told me. Eh? Yeah, you know. Yeah, and she was creeped out. Obviously, you yeah, know, she's like, yeah, "What yeah. the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. So, bro, I'm creeped out. Yeah, I feel yeah. it's like a muscle spasm. I feel it's a muscle spasm. That's gonna be my explanation, and yeah. I will believe that till I die. My girlfriend told me about this story one time. How she was staying in this hotel room, um, and apparently that hotel was haunted. Um, everyone says they they just see this I think from what I remember correct if I remember correctly um, they just see this figure inside the hotel and and she was staying in the hotel and she just heard she constantly heard like loud like knocks you know just and um, supposedly her friend woke up looked looked up and right at the end of the bed was like a figure just just yo don't just don't there, <laughs> you know yeah yeah and then yeah next day they just left <laughs> they stayed on they didn't fully wake up when they saw that figure just sitting there what if it was like a serial killer what if it was like a a random man yeah, i can't just remember looking, i can't bro. remember supposedly supposedly allegedly I, allegedly i got chills like hearing that knock too yeah, yeah, yeah just just imagine like in the middle of the night you just hear like would you answer it? No, I'm grabbing a knife from the kitchen. <laughs> no joke. I'll grab a knife yeah. and I will do like a mild, slow turn and look, you know? Die. You can't risk that, eh? What if you open it and there's nobody there? And you close it as soon as possible and you just hear it again. I'm standing beside the door. You open it and there's nobody there. Even when I quick open it? Quick open it, there's nobody there. You quick close it as soon as you close it. And then I open it back again. There's nobody there. Oh, shit. <laughs> then I'm calling one of you guys to pick me up. <laughs> you know, yeah. Oh, that would freak yeah. me the fuck out, bro. Yeah, I'm moving out. I remember oh, the last movie that I watched that scared me quite a lot when I was younger was this, was this movie called 1914, I believe. I don't... Okay, can you look it up? It's like... It was about... It was about exactly that. A horror movie. A 19... Room 19. Oh, I can't remember. I can't yeah, remember. but horror is one of those genres that international horror films are like 
just as good or better than Hollywood like horror films. Yeah, like Thailand has a huge like horror cinema scene. Yeah. India has a huge ho- horror cinema scene. China has a huge horror yeah. uh, cinema Japan scene. Japan you know? too. Yeah. Japan and the people that watch horror films, they're more likely to watch like a bunch of foreign horror films too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and they do get scary. Honestly, yeah, I d- I did go down that path. Yeah. But I, I watched all of them. But the last one that scared me was that that hotel room one. That one's scary. Just thinking, thinking about staying in a hotel room, and I think the fear of it was that the hotel room is so scary that it make that a, you have a psychotic episode. You know, just things start turning on and whatever, and then you're just you get fucked up, and then you eventually do something. You know, that's the scary part. You know, it's like the horror movie Smile. Horror movie Smile. Yeah, there's like a horror film called Smile. Huh. I just saw the trailer and I was fucking <laughs> freaked out, dude. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a weird film, dude. Ugh. I didn't even watch the movie, but there's Smile Two now. But I'm okay with horror movies. I think I've watched a decent amount now that I'm like, ah, when's the jump scare coming? And then if the jump scare doesn't happen when you're expecting it to, it'll probably happen in the next 10 seconds. You know. So like, you tell me you never get jump scared anymore. I do, but it's not as intense. It's like, oh shit, shock. And then it's like, oh, okay. I, oh, I have a story. When I watched the last horror movie, I kind of watched one of the last, at least I was um, 14 years old mm. and, oh wait, sorry. I was 16 years old mm. and I was with, I was on a date and this was like, you know, when you're in school, you have like a group date, mm. like a bunch of your friends go out with a bunch of like girls, equal numbers, you know, mm-hmm. hit up the horror movie joint. Everybody's sitting next to yeah. whoever they want to talk to, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like trying to be like good, but I already have like this hatred for like horror movies mm-hmm. already. I have this trauma already. So all I was doing was like sitting down and like just not looking. I can't even watch. Mm. So I was covering my eyes a little bit. But then, like, there was a jump scare. And I, as I look up and had the jump scare, this girl was here, like, leaning on, leaning a little bit. Mm. I elbowed her in the face, dude. <laughs> oh. And I was, I, I spent the next, like, hour after the movie, like, apologizing. You know, my bad. You know, that was an <laughs> accident and shit. Because yeah. she teared up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I called a God. scene a little bit, you know? Oh, God. But that was genuinely a, a mistake, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, but was she okay? She was okay, dude. Okay. It wasn't a hard elbow. It was one of just that, that you know, like yeah, oh yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a jolt. And it's just a little, yeah. Do you would have killed the night if she she had a bleeding nose or something? Oh, <laughs> or like, it oh, would have ruined God. everybody's vibe, dude. Yeah. Hey, but it's a story now. Though, hope she's okay. Damn. She is okay. She's okay. Yeah. 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 Hundred yeah. percent okay. Damn, bro. I had a question that was kind of related to something before on mm. the costumes, mm. Mm. right? Like. I was wondering, what would you guys allow your significant other to wear in terms of costume? I don't mind, really, so long as it's legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. First of all, it has to be legal, you know? No nipples showing, no no, no butt cracks showing, <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> what costume out there is showing butt cracks? I don't know, bro. <laughs> butt cracks? Yo. No cheek showing? Yo, my girl's one of those, like, if I give her the AOK, like... Sh- she just go all out, you know? So Full like, Halloween costume. Yeah, so like I'm like as long as it's legal, it's not bothering kids that walk past, mm. then I'm chill with it. You know, because you might potentially walk past a kid and you don't you don't want to cause any any, you know. Yeah. But sometimes you dress for each other, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that in the bedroom afterwards. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> okay. You know? You know, change the outfit a little bit. Okay, you know? okay. Reveal what's underneath. But okay. you know, on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Just keep it, keep, keep it, it tame in front of kids. Keep it tame in front of kids. You know, kids, all right. as long as kids don't mind it. Yeah. Uh, as, as long as the parents k- don't mind it. Yeah, that's fine. What about you? I agree with that. But if it comes to my kids, mm. it's going to be a different story. What do you mean? No makeup. No makeup? No like sexy costume. Dress as like a cool, like as your hero, mm. but not like a sex, you know, when adults try to. Mm. You know, you you're gonna you're gonna dress as a kid, you know, mm. not as an adult. What if your fourteen year old daughter comes to you and is like, "Daddy, Daddy, I want to dress up as a nurse." Yeah, I'll get a proper occupation accurate nurse costume. I already picked I'll out my f- stockings. 
I'm throwing away that shit. No nurse wears stockings. I'm getting you full scrubs, getting you a face mask. I'm getting you that surgical cap. That's how you're going to go, like, man. No, you want to be a nurse. That's no. the realistic I wanna nurse. I want to be a sexy nurse. No, no, no. Then you're not going out of the house. I'm sorry. Wow. You ain't going to the house party. <laughs> Who's going to be in the house party? Dylan? My boyfriend. Not your boyfriend. And Dylan. And Dylan. <laughs> I'm going to beat their ass, man. <laughs> it's different. It's different? I'll, I'll, for my kids, I'll be a little bit, yeah. Okay, flip it. What about I'm sorry? What about your fourteen-year-old, the brother, fourteen-year-old son? Yeah, he's dressing appropriate too, man. I'm not gonna let him like. He's like, not that. I'm going as a policeman, shirtless, everything. I play. What? First of all, you. Like, wait, I'm gonna be like, nah, you're putting up. Be an accurate policeman. You know what kind of policeman are you watching in these movies, man? The sexy ones. Yeah, you watching some weird films? <laughs> you watching Magic Mike? Yeah, you've been watching Magic Mike. <laughs> son. Get off the TV. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no way. I would work with him, man. I would, I would, if I, if my kid wants to do like an Iron Man costume, yo, I would w love to source it for him, bro. Go with that Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Work to. on it. But if he wants to go as a shirtless policeman, mm. you gonna work on that with him too? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> First of all, it's a weird dress up for like a kid to ask, like, yo, dad, I wanna go as a shirtless policeman. You never know. Yo, let me get the fireman costume. No jacket. Yo, if your kid is any anything like you, bro, they'll be watching Magic Mike with you growing up. <laughs> and be like, dad, 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 I want to be like that. Hey, yo, son, give me that shit in the bedroom, man. Chill. <laughs> Wait, oh, what? This is so <laughs> fucked up, bro. No, 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 no. I'm into himself, bro. Like, like, I used to dress up as like a cool, like, not dress up as a cool, like, I mean, when when I'm with my girl, bro, when I'm with my girl. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, okay. Keep that shit in the bedroom for your girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're off age. Mm. You get what I mean? Yeah. No diddy. Yeah, yeah. No diddy. Yeah. <laughs> definitely no diddy. Yeah. Damn. And definitely don't dress up like your father in that one podcast episode, man. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I'm thinking right now, what would my dad say if he saw me like this? Yo, apart from Halloween, mm. kind of want to talk a little bit about Travis Scott just had his concert here. Oh, Travis Scott? Yeah. And a couple- Cockroach. Batman. Cockroach Batman, dude. Mm. And a couple of people, like, I saw on TikTok, I was just scrolling through, and somebody posted, like, these kids that are bumping to Travis Scott mm. on the train on the way to Travis Scott, and they're dressed a certain way. There's a demographic for that. And in Melbourne, a whole train had to stop because there was too many people in the train going to Travis Scott's concert. Mm. And you know Travis Scott fans are, like, they're on some next level. Yeah. Like the Mosh Pit fans. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm too scared for that shit. Yeah, I can I can never do like a general admission on the floor Travis Scott concert. Dude, I would... Dude, there's videos of people like spearing each other before Travis... I think Travis Scott came late. And you've seen those videos like coming up. Those fans just forming a circle. Yeah. And they're spearing each other like a freaking... I'm like, yo, that's some next level, like, I can't do culture, that. dude, you know? Yeah, I can't do that. Levi, you said you felt FOMO because your friends were all going Travis Scott. You want to be in that fucking wash pit, dude? Uh, the thing is, I didn't end up going, but what I saw was um, from the videos that he showed, there was a period where there was people that were getting the tickets for the um, outside seats. Mm. But then everyone started hopping the fence at the same time. Uh, yeah, they're and Travis like encourages this shit, right? Like is that Astro World sort of mentality? His fans are known to be doing some like rowdy ass shit. Yeah, there. of course, of course. I guess it's a part of like his um identity, his yeah. branding where it's like the the raging yeah, freedom yeah, and chaos yeah. kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. very chaotic. Right. See, I'm <sighs> I can't do it, man. I'm more of a Coldplay guy. I'm going to Coldplay. That, you know? That's where I'm like. Just chill with your with your light sticks, fireworks, you know. I'm more of an at-home concert kind of guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it on live on TV and sit by myself. Yeah. You know, I, I don't like crowds. Yeah. Yo, can you pull up some, like, mosh pit? I want, you guys have to see, like, some mosh pit. Like, different kinds of mosh pit. There's, there's mosh pit etiquette. There is? <sighs> Bro, in rock concert, there's like mosh pit etiquette. Mm. And rock concerts are different, dude. Yeah. 
they're like proper punching each other but that's okay that's okay that's no, the thing no 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 there's no way bro yeah that's okay yeah that's a travis scott concert See, that's yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. But that's bro. not the craziest one. There's like, put like a rock mosh pit. What do you mean they punch each other, bro? They punch each other, elbow no, each other, and whack each other, dude. What? Punch. Uh, n not Travis, just regular one. Punch, dude. Elbow. It's not one video. That is a mosh pit. That is a rock like mosh pit. So they, they get hyped up and they bam, 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 bam. Like everyone, it's untargeted, dude. And then somebody goes in the center and starts whacking people. Nobody dies. I don't think so, but I I know what? someone that's that's into this like metal and shit like who that. Who the fuck and wants to go to a concert? Exactly. Who the fuck wants to go to a concert, come out the other side with black eyes and a missing tooth? That's part of the culture, dude. You gotta know. Are you sure, bro? <laughs> a one billion percent. Dude. I've been on my mosh pit shit, dude. Oh I mean, I've been like just God. watching some shit. Can you search like a non Travis uh, mosh pit? Like a rock. Like in this, yeah, rock mosh pit. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You go, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yo, it's spinning and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. No, People good. go. Is that TikTok? Yeah, like metal mosh pits. Yeah. <sighs> this, yeah, yeah. This, this, this is kind of similar shit? where they like just... And they'll whack people there. Is he on something? Oh my God, bro. Stop. <laughs> stop. That's the style. Oh my God. Dude, why are they swinging? One of my one of my colleagues likes all this metal shit and stuff. Mm. But he said like you can count the amount of times you go into the mosh pit. So I asked him like you you ever been to a mosh pit? He's like, yeah, like twice. And both times he lost his tooth. It's like a voluntary thing to join a mosh pit. Really? Yeah. And one of the videos I saw, like it appears there's an etiquette to it. If you're in the circle, you can hit whoever you want, but if you're out of the circle, you can't retaliate. So the dude tried to defend himself <laughs> and started whacking back. Everyone around the mosh was like, yo, that's fucked up and grabbed him behind and started bashing him, dude. Yeah. I think that's a mosh pit etiquette or there's just a bunch of like gangs there, dude. What? Yeah. Dude, it sounds like a testosterone fueled fucking just mosh pit, oh, bro. It's dumb, dude. Actually, I don't want to diss some people's culture. If that's their thing, man. I find it hard nah, to No, fuck that, dude. That's <laughs> dumb, bro. That's hella dumb, bro. I got to find <laughs> all these videos. It's fucking this here. Cavemen's out there, bro. Sometimes it's like small rock band concerts. And the crowd goes to the, the top and grabs like the guitarist's guitar. And just started smashing it and fucking throwing it. Somebody threw like a trash can like across the fucking room to people. And they just started tossing it left and right. And it's those like big metal trash can just fucking tossing it. Bro, that's <laughs> a nightmare, bro. I, that's a haunted story there, yeah, bro. Yeah. Jesus it's Christ, Some real man. life. And it's fair, dude. That's, that's no, the culture. Fuck that. I cannot believe that, bro. Because different festivals have different culture. I would rather have a... Just chill, EDM, you know, enjoy the music. Nobody's just, people just dancing to themselves. They're not really yeah. enjoying, they're not fucking fighting each other, elbowing, just chilling, you know? Chill even, even, even rap concerts can get too rowdy for me, you know? I think the best kind of crowds which surprised me is like those EDM hard style, they're sort of festival culture. Mm. They're all like taking care about one another. Yeah. Which is crazy because the sound is just like, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, 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 but everyone's sort of like making sure everyone's all right. Yeah, and that's like a big thing, you know, like rave culture. Yeah, Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna chill out at my Coldplay concert, man. <laughs> <laughs> but Coldplay's concerts are sick, bro. I want a seat, you know, yeah, sit yeah. down. Is that seats in Coldplay? Yeah, it's all seats. You can be at the back, you can be at the, the very, very back of the stadium and still have a nice ass time. Because their songs are so sort of like uplifting, uplifting, and then it's like a lot of the songs are meant to be sang in unison, 
and the whole stadium just sings together. You know, like Viva like an anthem like, type of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. gives me like a mega church gospel vibes. Yeah, like the stadium and stuff like that. It's, yeah, it looks like a mega church performance. Yeah, yeah, you know? it's nice. Even like the songs like Sky Full of Stars, you know, people singing Sky Full of Stars with fireworks and nice lights. Who has the best concerts, you think, other than Coldplay? Coldplay's up there. Bruno Mars. I remember seeing Bruno Mars live. There you go. Bruno Mars. I think he's number one. Oh, he was like, I was uh, I was in um, general admission for that one. Bro, and I was, I remember just looking up and I was like, holy shit, I'm witnessing a god right now. Damn. Yeah. I remember yeah. thinking to myself, I was like, dude, this guy is a musical god. I'm just seeing him doing his dance move. And he's like singing um uptown uptown funk and he was dancing multi talented he was yeah. like going to the bases and the the bases dude was like you know jamming out and he would be playing the drums just fuck i was like yo this guy's doing everything bro he's michael jackson level yeah man. yeah and the lights went off suddenly and then he starts he starts oh, singing God. let's take a turn tonight i'm like oh Yo, he's got every, he's got everything, dude. If there's uh, one concert I want to go to, I think Bruno Mars is the only one I want to go yeah, to. Yeah, Bruno Mars. And dude, his live vocals, bro. Oh, dude. It was just pitch perfect everything, dude. And he's on like proper... You know, some singers, they sing lower keys mm. live. But Bruno Mars sings it Doesn't, like... Yeah. What you hear in the studio is what you hear from live. You know yeah. What yeah. So, damn. That was good. I went to... Eras to a probably be taylor swift cancer, yeah. yeah that would be production man sabrina carpenter is big too sabrina carpenter ed sheeran i remember going to ed sheeran vibe it was just like a whole stadium of just bar goers man <laughs> everyone was there just listening to him with his loop pedal he has he doesn't have any backup just one st one like spotlight on him and he's just like you know like, ed sheeran is like ding, the professional ding, ding, one man ding. show yeah, yeah yeah he is bro he is i saw that a lot of people went with their parents to like concerts like Ed Sheeran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My mom went to Ed Sheeran yeah, Ed without Sheeran's me. Cool. <laughs> oh, really? Her girls, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mom, went, mom went to Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran's hyped. Um, Did you want to go though? Me? I would love to go to Ed Sheeran. But Ed Sheeran. honestly, at the time I was like, nah, I don't want to go. But uh, is it me or do I just notice like a surge of concerts now? The in Australia, is, right? Huh? I feel like in Australia. Yeah, in yeah. Australia. Yeah. yeah. I just felt like suddenly, like everyone's Instagram story is just concerts, dude. Be that like Taylor Swift, yeah, Travis Scott, any sort of like, all the big names are suddenly like coming to Australia, yeah, like, big tour names, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like when you hear Era, it's like the Era's tour is like so fucking huge, yeah. And I feel like that's kind of a jump starts everyone's like concerts. Yeah, I think it was. Um, I think as soon as COVID uh, stopped. Like the concerts were like getting big everywhere in the world. Um, Australia being having it be a little bit more distant from the world kind of caught on a bit later. Yeah, I agree. And now it's like the time when, okay, these artists are actually coming to Australia. Yeah, they've already kind of hit the main cities yeah, a few yeah. times and yeah, yeah. they're going to Australia and, and other world tours. And um, I've heard that apparently it's a common thing that happens with artists that come to Australia. And they're just like uh, canceling or they'll show up late or like last minute. This is a stereotype Damn. and happens all the fucking time with festivals. It happened this time around with Listen Out where a bunch of artists are just canceling because one, it's not worth their time on the flight to coming to Australia. And two, they probably just have like a better opportunity elsewhere to make more money less commitment you know oh it sucks to be a music fan here yeah, if you're like yeah, a concert yeah. fan yeah yeah <laughs> oh shit yeah, it happens a lot yeah. yeah she was in love to australia man yeah but i i get, objectively i i get it to an extent like an artist if you're u.s based or europe based you want to come to australia for 20 for a country of 20 million people where i can just tour at home and hit up multiple cities it's a bit, a bit of a commitment that's yeah. true three kids is here Australian. I mean, they're Australian, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Australian. I think if you're a, a big enough artist and you're servicing the fans on a global tour, you will come to Australia. But uh, it's yeah, like a whole otherwise. continent here, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's their own sort of space, you know. Yeah. If you guys were on tour, where would you guys want to hit up first? If I was an artist. Yeah. Yeah. Like you'd be, you know, that place is gonna be hype as hell for concerts. 
Like, which country has the best, like, fans? Dude? Depends on the type of music, I think. Yeah. Say we're talking, like, rap. You're a rapper. <laughs> you're L.L. <laughs> Levi. Siri. And you're J. Swiggity William, dude. Where are you going first, dude? Yeah, probably America. Oh, really? Maybe, maybe my hometown. Like, like, as in Australia. Canberra? You gonna have a rap concert in Canberra? <laughs> well, four people gonna show up. <laughs> That's a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry, Canberra. I'm sure you guys are chill. How about you? I feel like if I'm a rapper in America, I got. I'm at risk, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's oh. scary. You know what I'm saying? The shit happens there, dude. A lot of shit happens there. Yeah, a lot of shit happens. You know, even to non rappers, dude. Yeah. Nick Jonas had to run off the stage because there was a laser pointed at him. Oh, yes. Yeah, and what? he ran, dude. Saw, you know? Yeah. I'm thinking, let me go to Italy. Italy? Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there, at least I can perform my concert, jump up and down, bam, right after the concert, hit up Lake Como. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Eat some food, you know? Yeah, I don't really know about the rap culture there, but yeah, you're just going for the food. Yeah, yeah I'm going for the food, man. Yeah, Damn. You're just, just going for the crowd. <laughs> but if I, look, I think if I was a rapper, yeah, I would probably go to... I'd have to make it one. I'd... I'd I'd have to make a trip to to China, dude. Because as like a Chi Chinese mm. person, if I made it in the West as a rapper, but I if I go to China, they're gonna give me mad respect, dude. They're gonna love me out there, dude. They gonna give you that, yeah. Brand deals, and they got the China. population there too. You know, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Surely, fucking fifty k people will show up, dude. Stadiums booked out and shit. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Or you know what's a really cool concert though? Like going to Egypt. I think Russ performed. Um, at the pyramids that was okay a sight, bro yeah that's that that's some next sight. level shit yeah yeah if you put it perform as your backdrop as the pyramid of giza some like historical <laughs> site yeah that's wild yeah that, that would be cool, cool i've seen um some dj sets mm. where there's someone performing in like mongolia yeah and it pans to like the crowd right yeah, yeah. and it's everyone on like these like animals and shit no yeah really <laughs> yeah Holy shit. What? Is that safe? Yo, that might be more... I'm thinking that might be more dangerous than a... Oh, I saw this. Yeah, yeah. On the horses and shit. What? Yeah. Just in the front, I think. Oh, there's no security. There's the bro. horses, eh? That's crazy. It has one way to fucking party. Yeah, that is true. Your horses and bears and stuff. Yeah. Like, not bears, bro. Bears? Domestic bears. But I think any performance in, like, like a natural environment. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. In the mountains. Ooh, like, that's fucking sick. Or in sick. a cave. Yeah. Or that's in cool. the middle of the ocean on a platform. You know? Have you seen that Crazy uh, crazy Rich Asians? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. the bachelor party on yeah, like yeah. a. I think that would be a cool concept for like a. Concert, oh, like yeah. a cargo. A cargo ship. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Just some wild fucking shit going on. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. That's crazy, yeah. But hmm. where else? Yeah, but Egypt would be cool, I think. It's just seeing the pyramids. Like, if I was performing, bro, and to a crowd of people in the backdrops of the pyramids, dude, yeah. I, would, I would be it's like. It's pretty surreal. Yeah, that would be so surreal. I, I think I'm fucking made it in life no nothing can not a lot can beat the yeah. highs i'm experiencing right now you know what about on top of the eiffel tower and you're on top eiffel tower is your stage and like the whole downstairs is like filled dude. Nah, fuck that dude i have a fear of heights dude <laughs> 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 fucking <laughs> pissing myself while, while that shit happens dude your voice is just so shaky yeah the eiffel tower looks cool when you're beneath it yeah. you feel me like on top bro <laughs> I'd be like, dude, who the, who the fuck decided this was No, that's idea? like David Guetta, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What beats concert crowds? Have you seen those like World Cup return parties or like when Messi won? Yeah. It's not stadiums. They fill out fucking... The city. Cities, dude. Crowds. They close shit. Yeah. You know, you want crowds. A football yeah. crowd is unbeatable. Yeah. No sport, no yeah. music, no nothing. Beats that sheer amount of people in yeah. one spot to yeah. celebrate Messi. Yeah, there are levels to this shit. Yeah, it's not just um, it's not just your music taste that brings you together. It's your, it's your whole country, bro. Yeah, your whole country. Have you seen it, Levi? Yeah, I th I think it's On just crazy team? in general that it's specifically football mm. that brings 
like the World Cup brings so much together. Yeah, it does. It's the most international sport. Yeah, it is. I think. Yeah. Did Did you guys watch the World Cup last yeah, year? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Korea like, had a crazy. Yeah. yeah, you go to any like bar mm. or like um, like drinking spot, mm. always Koreans filled. Yeah. Like just watching the World Cup. Mm. I watched the Korea Brazil, and also even Japan. Yeah, and I watched that in like a ramen spot, dude. Yeah, mm. yeah, and it was small, but everyone was just seated in like stools, and like the the waiters were giving out like free sake and shit. Mm. You don't even have to be there, but the community is still there. Of course, of course. Yeah, Yo, I got well. a question for you, Levi. If Australia was to verse South Korea, who, who would I root for? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it it's dictated off one player. Right. Song. Yeah. Yeah. So. So South Korea. Yeah. I've heard that um, like w- across different industries, we're seeing um the power shift towards the individual rather than like the team or the or corporate. You yeah. know, like before you might support a team, like the previous generations, you'll you'll be so loyal to whatever team you support, and doesn't matter like the players. But now it's shifting towards. People are just fans of singular players and they'll just support whichever team they go to. Which is the whole reason why LeBron. people are starting to support Miami. Because oh, Messi's yeah. there. Yeah. You know, they'll get the Miami jerseys. Even though they've probably never been to Miami, yeah. but they got the jerseys. They'll get the Son jerseys from Bayer Leverkusen or they'll get the Son jerseys from like Tottenham, you know? Yeah. And um, Ronaldo, Al Nasir's jerseys, you know? They're just bringing th- eyes to the whole freaking league. Yeah, yeah. But that's why the countries bought them. Yeah. To bring eyes to the league. And they got a share. Like, Messi's deal is he's going to have, like... Share of the team. Not share of the team, but, like, uh, streaming rights. Part of the streaming rights for the MLS. Yeah, Yeah, that's crazy. I think that's what's kind of unique about the World Cup, though. Mm. Like, if you look at Premier League and stuff, people can get signed to different teams that they're not, like, originally associated with at all, right? Mm. But when it comes to the World Cup, like, the players are playing usually not mm. always but usually for the national team yeah that they are most associated with mm. so in that sense it's like you follow the team rather than the player in these yeah, cases yeah, yeah. right that's true that's true yeah. like i do support china in whichever football match that they have like i'll i'll be behind them but it's just like i cry every time <laughs> <laughs> I just cry every time. It's, it's an audition stage, the World Cup. Yeah. For you know those underdogs, but they get picked for a national team. They're not playing in big leagues yet. In like, people watch them and they're like, holy shit. Like, teams can also like pick them out from like the World Cup, you know? Mm-hmm. Or like, see. <sighs> those fucking 16 year olds with $20 million contracts, dude. I dream of that. Dude. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what am I doing with my life, dude? I'm in a dress in a blonde <laughs> wig right here in front of fucking camera, dude. What am I doing, dude? <laughs> Yeah. And the 16 year olds making 20 mils here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. On that note, is there anything else you want to add? No, I guess I guess that's it for this episode. Yeah. Halloween special. Halloween we, special. We went on a side quest into, you know, like um, soccer. Mosh pit, yeah, <laughs> soccer or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Let us know what you think of Rose. My co host. Give us, give us a rating of our outfits, you know? Yeah. Real quick, let me adjust my. <laughs> Yeah, on that note, um, from a banana t- to the people listening, we appreciate you for sticking it to the end. You're a true roomie. Come on now. And if you made it to the end, give us that like. Give us that word of mouth, you know? Yeah. One comment is a word of mouth and it helps out the algorithm, you know? Yeah, let us know wh- what happens in your place, you know, like your favorite costumes. Any Halloween stuff, you would just want to let us know. Anything you found shocking, whatever. Mm. Haunted stories. Yeah. You want to hear that, yeah, in the comments. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Links are all down b- below. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, see you guys next week.